everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on Nature's Notebook, and this is page six. Page six of Nature's Notebook, and uh, we've got three elements on this page, a left and right flap, and then this wide belly band. And the belly band is six inches across by nine inches in height, and you're gonna score a half inch on either edge, or a half inch and eight and a half, and it's going to get uh, centered on this pocket page. And, okay, I was just making sure my orientation was correct. So I'm going to find the middle of this belly band and the middle of the page. I'm gonna line up the, the two dots and we're gonna install this. And I'm, here it is. I was at a loss for my ruler. Okay, so this is six inches across, so we know the center is three. And this is 10 inches across, so we know the center is five. Okay, that makes it nice and easy to center this belly band. We're just gonna line up those two marks. <clears throat> Hope everybody's doing well. I have not had a very crafty November slash December. I've been just busy with life, I guess. Lots of things getting in the way, but I'm hoping to knock this out and then I'm, I'm hopeful that I can get Vagabond done before the end of the year. We shall see. Okay, there we go. Now this is just gonna come across. I'm just smoothing it so that I don't have a bubble. There we go. And it's gonna bubble a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, now I'm turning it right side up again. And then we've got these two flaps that are gonna go left and right, and they're gonna be on the edge of this belly band. And these are six and a quarter across, six and a quarter across by eight inches tall, and you're gonna score a half inch on the six and a quarter inch side. Okay, let me dry fit this real quick. Make sure it's fitting, and yes it does, okay. So we'll install these flaps left and right on top of the belly band, and then um, I'm gonna turn it sideways so I can see the whole thing. And then we'll place some magnets and we will be done with the interactive components for the page. It'll be time to decorate. Okay. Oh, I should direct it in just to make sure. Occasionally. Looks good, okay. Once in a while, it'll be off a sliver. Um, that's your last chance to trim it before you install it. Okay, that's that. Okay, so this is page six, I have to think about. So this is the spine side of page six, and this is the open pocket side and I want it to close away from the spine. It's not critical, but that's kind of a design thing for me. Um, the, the pages will, will rub against each other when you're opening and closing them, and I'd rather have it going with the flow of the flap than against it, but it's really not that critical, and I haven't seen it cause that much of a problem in, in other designs, but it's just kind of my thought process on why it opens one way versus another. Just trying to think about how these flaps are gonna interact with the opposing page. Okay, and we'll close this and locate that magnet. And then we've got our belly band and our flap, right and left. And then we've got an insert that's gonna go into that belly band space. And I need to trim it down. So it's going to be eight by seven and three quarters. Eight by seven and three quarters. And I want it eight inches wide because I'm gonna have an offset. So 
when you look at this visually, there'll be a two inch strip here. This is gonna slide in and it's gonna come over one inch. So you'll have a pattern here and then a one inch pattern. And that's why I wanted it to be eight inches. Um, across, but then um, in order for, to have it slide in and out of the belly band, I just took a quarter inch off the height. So after you've put your designer paper on it, um, both here as the liner and then on your um, insert, um, it'll still slide very freely. So that's why it is eight by seven and three quarters. Okay, that's it for the interactive components of page six. In a few minutes, I'll be back with the designer choices that I've made for this page, and we will start decorating. Okay, be right back. Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on page six. Page six, and I've got, I think most of my paper's trimmed, but not everything is inked. So I'll just do that real quick. And we're gonna start out by clearing up some workspace um, by laying in a side of this main flap here and I'm just using this white piece of cardstock so I've got good contrast so I can see my edges clearly and everything looks good just get some glue on that And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, remember this is a belly band, I'm going to lay down these two strips. I've trimmed these out at two and a quarter, two and a quarter, and that's because this is a two inch slot, so I want to have a little bit that's going to go beneath the um, belly band. Sorry, I had lost my words there for a second. Okay, so we're gonna put glue on this side and then we're gonna leave the, the leading edge dry so we can easily slide it under the belly band. And then if we have to pull it back out, we don't have to worry about um, leaving a trail of glue. I think I got that right. Did I put that? Yeah, that's right. There we go. Use that bone folder to push it into place. Now we're gonna repeat that process on this side. And again, we are gonna put glue on this side. We're gonna leave the leading edge dry. So we don't have to worry about backing it out and leaving a trail of glue. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna burnish that into place. And then I wanna go ahead and show you what I chose for the um, insert that's gonna go behind uh, or into the belly band. And I'm using these two darker strips. And I haven't, fig I haven't picked out my centerpiece yet. As I'm working toward the back of the album, I have to be 
a little more conscious about where my papers are going since I've covered most of the book already. Although the nice thing about two DCEs is I get four of each pattern, so that's nice. Or you could look at it the other way. I get two of each pattern, two of the A sides and two of the B sides. Which is actually how I wind up using the paper. It's closer to that. this one. It's not too late. I'll just work quickly. As soon as I started looking at it against the black, I could see the white edge. Okay, I think we got it done quick enough that the glue's still wet. There we go. These strips are two inches wide, just like these. Or this is two and a quarter, this is two inch. Okay. Now this is going to slip inside the belly band. Oops, I'm getting hung up on something. What is it getting stuck on? Oh, come on. Try it this way. I'm getting hung up on. I think it's getting hung up on this liner, so I might come back and try to sneak a little bit of glue uh, on the edges. There we go. And also do just a little bit of training. Uh, because I didn't put glue on the edge uh, on the inside, um, I think it's getting hung up there a little bit. So it's still, I prefer to do it that way because if you glue it and then you back it out, you could potentially glue your belly band closed. So that's the finished look basically. So now I need to focus on getting the, the A here and um, the inside of this spread finished. And then we'll find a centerpiece um, for the, uh, the belly band insert. So I need a few minutes to line up my papers, get them inked and ready to go. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I've lined up my papers and I think we're ready to finish page six. So I'm just using the opposite side to finish out this um, belly band piece, insert. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of trimming since I'm color blocking. So bear with me. Okay, that's done. So we can go ahead and slide this back through. Hmm, it's getting hung up on the little tab there. There we go. There we go. That's done. Okay, so we have the A side done and now we're gonna lay out the B side. So we're going to use these um, beautiful ladybug sheets. I'm gonna go ahead and do the centerpiece first. And it looks like I need to trim this down just a little bit. That should do it. I think I was too close to the lines there.
Okay, and so what we're going to do on the um, opposite sides is this and this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is lay down my two inch piece, and then we are going to trim this to fit. That is my dishwasher beeping in the background, but I'm not gonna get up and do anything about it. I wanna finish this page. Good, now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Oh, did I ink this? Let's go ahead and do that before I put the glue on. It kind of, yeah, the pattern's actually kind of random um, because the ladybugs are going in every direction, but I was checking the back side to see what the orientation was, and I'm just going to stick with that. But I do think it's actually random, so I don't think it'll man matter if you put it in the other way. So we have the left, left, right, center, and now we're ready to trim these out. And uh, it looks like, I think I need to take off an eighth of an inch. Let's see. still too tight into the hinge area, so I'm gonna take off a little bit more. in just a moment. Yeah, that's gonna work. That's pretty tight. I'm gonna go with it. It's okay. Okay, now let's do this side. And I'll use my pencil. This is tough because pencil doesn't show up very much on the black, but we'll see. We'll try. this up in just a moment.
There's our centerpiece, and it looks beautiful. It's going to go like that. Okay. Then we're going to just repeat that pattern here. Pretty easy peasy. Again, this is a two inch strip, so everywhere you see the, um, I keep wanting to say butterfly, ladybugs, it's a two inch strip. And then what's on the other side is trimmed down to fit. And I started out with three and three quarters, but you're gonna need to trim off a little bit depending on where the strip lands. Okay, and this will be our last piece that we'll need to trim down. I may need a little more. Yeah, a little bit more off this edge. Okay. Okay, there we go. So that is the end of page, what page am I on? Page six, sorry, I had to think about that. Okay, so here it is in the um, closed position. There's our insert, and then we've got these two flaps and this beautiful spread in between. And as I had showed you before, This is basically what a four by six would look like posted here and here. So I think that looks lovely. And that is the end of page six. When we get together, we'll be working on page seven. And I'm gonna do something to get that to slide in more easily. I'm not sure what, but um, you may wanna apply a little more glue on your leading edge than I did, um, cause I'm gonna to have to solve that problem now that everything's glued down. Um, part of it will just be a little bit of training, but, um, okay. Thanks everybody for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. Uh, thanks for coming and sharing your time with us and hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit the like. And if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing, hitting that bell, and you'll be notified when we have new content on our channel. Thanks again for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create.